Hi, my name is Carly Lusk with Benzinga. I am joined here today with Dr. Richard Liu, President and CEO of Solar Bank. Dr. Liu, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Well, I'm excited to learn more about what you guys are doing. Let's kick it off. Give us an overview of your company. Wonderful. It's great to be here, Hardy. And uh, my name is Richard Liu. I'm the President and CEO of Solar Bank Corporation. Uh, Solar Bank is a company in the renewable energy space. We've been in business for more than 10 years now. Uh, our focus is solar photovoltaics. Uh, we build uh, a large utility scale solar farms, community solar farms, behind a meter rooftops and other uh, renewable energy applications. Uh, along the way, we also provide uh, battery energy storage, uh, support the grid with uh, the uh, ISO in Ontario for 60 megawatt hours. Uh, we also involved in EV charging because we view that the renewable energy is a good source of uh, a fuel to uh, decarbonize the transportation uh, business. I think over the uh, last 10 years, we have moved more than $100 million worth of uh, uh, investment, uh, have a gigawatt worth of uh, uh, pipeline, have done uh, more than a thousand project development. Uh, among the uh, uh, project build, we're currently operating about more than 100 of the uh, uh, solar power generation states. Uh, because of the community solar program in the states, we also have up to about 10,000 uh, subscribers at this moment now uh, enable uh, each individuals actually to make a difference uh, in the fight against the uh, climate change. Uh, our operation center uh, making sure all the uh, uh, power plants are run uh, as designed and uh, really happy to uh, be in this business. Uh, looking forward actually to share more uh, you know, information with you. That's amazing. So what sets you apart in the clean and renewable space? Um, I think, you know, from that perspective, uh, we are really proud of our uh, uh, history uh, over the uh, uh, last years. And for me, uh, the number one is people. Uh, you know, the uh, uh, solar bank people are all uh, uh, very, very committed and experienced in the renewable business. Uh, I think combined, we have more than 100 years of experience. Uh, I think that's the uh, uh, number one. Uh, number one is uh, financing. I think, uh, you know, working with the investment community, as I mentioned, we moved more than $100 million worth of uh, uh, capital already. Our uh, capital market team are very uh, skilled in in making sure that uh, all the projects are supported, uh, uh, really uh, feel good about our financial uh, uh, conditions. If you can check out the uh, uh, public uh, filings, you will see we are in very, very good uh, uh, financial situations uh, as a company. Uh, the third uh, item set us apart is really about the project. Uh, not only we have a gigawatt worth of uh, pipeline, uh, we're currently under construction about the five uh, solar farms. Uh, we also have ongoing operation maintenance uh, uh, projects to uh, uh, supply renewable energy to the grid. So the people, the finance, and the projects set us apart uh, from most of uh, the peer companies in the same space. I wanted to congratulate you on your new deal. Can you tell us a little bit about what that entails? <laughs> yes. Uh, so uh, we have been working with a uh, uh, Fortune 100 company for many years. Uh, uh, they are very, very committed to the uh, uh, environment, the social, and the governance uh, aspect of their business. Uh, they are uh, taking care of the environment from a very uh, a diligent way. And uh, uh, we have done studies for them uh, in terms of how to uh, uh, revitalize the, uh, uh, I would say, uh, contaminate the land and uh, uh, other areas of non-productive uh, services. So uh, this uh, uh, contract with this Fortune 100 company uh, is a three separate uh, community solar projects, total about 21 megawatts. And then uh, they are in Upper State New York. Uh, the total value of the contract is more than uh, $41 million. Uh, on those projects that uh, will be uh, under construction, I would say probably uh, in October and uh, mechanical completion uh, Q1, Q2, 2024. Uh, after it's completed, it will 
and provide renewable energy to uh, the uh, subscribers in the neighborhood and further enhance the community solar uh, participation rate in the upper state New York. Uh, it gets the uh, NACERDA grant uh, from an incentive perspective, uh, also uh, has the uh, support from the uh, Fortune 100 company. Um, I think, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we do have uh, many projects uh, in the pipeline and the construction uh, and the operation, but this significant deal give us uh, a confidence about uh, the growth potential of uh, Solar Bank, and uh, you know it is uh, one of the sign that we are a trusted partner uh, with tier one companies such as this uh, uh, Fortune 100 company. Um, you know, uh, economically to our investment committee, uh, we were able to double our revenue uh, uh, compared to uh, last fiscal year, uh, we will uh, be able to more than double our revenue again in the next fiscal year. Uh, so uh, uh, really excited, uh, not only about uh, the economic impact, but also the potential continue to work with the Fortune 100 companies, not only as a developer, as a constructor, but also as a potential operation maintenance uh, service provider for the next 35 years, uh, because each project cycle is about 35 years. So really excited about this deal. That's very exciting. So final question before we close. What will be the keys to success in the coming years in the renewable space? Um, as uh, you know, uh, Cardi, uh, the renewable energy has passed the point of no return uh, in terms of uh, uh, energy allocation uh, in the uh, overall uh, composition. Uh, between uh, fossil fuels and renewable energy. Um, there's a, a lot of support from a corporations, from environmental social uh, governance perspective. There's lots of expectations from society, but at the end of the day, it is the policy that enables the uh, uh, industry to grow, uh, to make a contribution to uh, you know, slow down uh, climate change or global warming. Uh, the first one policy, as you know, is the uh, Inflation Reduction Act. It puts hundreds of billions of dollars behind the renewable energy so that we can uh, uh, further uh, speed up the uh, deployment. Uh, as you know, Carly, uh, currently in the States, 70% of power are from the fossil fuels. Uh, the Biden administration with the Inflation Reduction Act will be able to uh, support the industry uh, to achieve 80% renewables uh, by 2030. So that's a complete flip in terms of energy composition. So uh, in addition to policy support, the financial uh, environment is very important. I think the stability uh, in terms of uh, available funding, uh, which we are in a very good position uh, to enable the success uh, on top of the societal support and technology uh, maturity, uh, which the cost of solar energy has reduced dramatically 80 90 percent over the last 10 years so those elements from a policy from finance from a society support and the technology are the focus and the enabler in the renewable industry for success in the coming decades Wonderful, Dr. Liu, CEO of Solar Bank. It's been a pleasure having you with us talking about Solar Bank in the renewable energy space. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Cardi. Nice to see you.